Hey there, Adam Nitty here for Bass Musician Magazine, and today we're going to work on our timekeeping skills. And this is the companion video to the article that I wrote on timekeeping. And what we're going to do is we're going to work with uh, metronome today at uh, different tempos. And the idea is that we're going to pull ourselves away from the dependency on the external clock, lean more on the dependency to our internal clocks. And that is really the heart of where the groove and the pocket comes from in our own playing. So, well, I have a metronome here that's set up to play at 200 beats per minute, but I've got the click set up to play on the whole note subdivisions. Okay, so you're only hearing a click on beat one of every measure. And this is what it sounds like at 200 beats per minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in my mind, internalize a bass groove that I'm going to play. I'm going to make sure it sits well within the, the pocket of the time that the metronome is providing for me here. So here's that groove. Two, and oh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut the metronome time in half from 200 beats per minute to 100 beats per minute. And that's going to sound like this. So the idea is that as we pull more clicks away from the metronome time, we have to rely more on our internal time in order to stay in time. So this is how we build up our internal clock. We're gradually weaning ourselves off of the metronome and more into the pocket of our own internal clock. And that's the whole point of this exercise, is to try to develop ourselves as better timekeepers from the inside out. That's the important thing here. So what I'm going to do now is play the same exact bass line at the same exact tempo, but now I'm going to be playing to fewer clicks. So first step is to internalize my bass line, actually hear myself playing it against this changed tempo, but solidify it in my mind to where when I start playing, I, I, come, in out the, I come out of the gate solid, just playing right in time. Three, four. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to take the tempo and we're going to cut it in half one more time. So now we're going to go from 100 beats per minute to 50 beats per minute. Now this is going to get a lot more challenging because the number of clicks that we're leaning on, once again, gets cut in half. So we have even less to lean on and we're sort of hanging out there on our own, depending on our own internal clocks, much more. So we really have to have a very solid sense of where the pulse is because we're not going to have as much to cue us. So this is what the tempo sounds like on the metronome at 50 beats per minute. So now internalization becomes the key, right? Trying to hear my bass line played in the time. One, two, three, four. 